Welcome to my show. My name is Shala Grace and I am here with my friend Andrew Yang. Yeah, hello. I'm Andrew Yang. Now, Mr. Andrew Yang, can you please tell the court what is your relationship with the real Andrew Yang? Um, I, uh, we just got the same name. That's about it. Andrew, when the world first learned that Andrew Yang was running for president back in 2019, did you ever hear people calling out your name thinking you were the real Andrew Yang? Oh, no, not really. I just have to tell them, hey, you know, I'm the president, by the way. It, 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 it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right. So, have you ever been approached by people asking if you were the long-lost son of the real Andrew Yang? No. No, not at all. Mr. Yang, I remember when you first told me that there was a man named Andrew Yang who was running for president and you said that you were voting for him because you wanted a thousand dollars a month, baby. Is that the only reason why you wanted to vote for him? Yeah, par partially. And, and because if he gets famous, my name will be known as well, you know. I mean, do you even know anything else about his policy issues? Nope. Not at all. But hey, he has the same name as me. But you were such a little boy, Andrew. I mean, you were just 18 years old. Wait, was I 18? Oh yeah, I was 18. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, here you are, a little boy at 18. The first time that you are even able to vote, the fate of the entire country is resting on the palm of your hand. What was it like for you to have that kind of power? Um, uh, nothing special really, because like, I don't really think votes count. I mean, it's it, it's hard to expect a, a little boy of 18, like yourself, to react the way that an adult might imagine they might react during an election year. Uh, frankly, it's a miracle that they even allow 18-year-old children to vote in these elections. Hmm. Andrew, yeah. I remember cool. when the real Andrew Yang qualified for the February Democratic debate in New Hampshire, and literally hundreds of people were so excited to vote for him. The, oh yeah, you I saw him. He was wearing the MAP hat. Yeah. So, Such were you threat. among those hundreds of people that were so excited to vote for him? Yeah, sure, I guess. But as we all saw, uh, the debate hosts, or whoever they were, only allowed him less than 10 minutes to speak, while some people got over 20. What, do you remember that, Andrew? Um... Yeah, yeah, I remember that. It was pretty, uh, pretty, pretty cool. I don't know anything about it, but yeah. At that moment, did you want to scream out, this is so unfair? Like, this is all rigged? Eh, not really. That moment when you knew that people were out voting for him, there were they were there like online they were everywhere chanting out your name how did that make you feel eh nothing much did you feel like a big star andrew nope not at all andrew i remember that shortly after that debate the real andrew yang went on national <laughs> tv and announced that he was dropping out of the race. Uh, where were you when it happened? 
Oh, I think I think that was the day where I like uh wait, no. Oh, dude, I think that was the day when I like found out about the best pizza place ever. It was like it was really good. They like burn their pizza, so it's like really good. I like I like burnt pizza. Uh, so it must have been must have been devastating for you when you found out that your candidate was no longer in the race. Uh, you were pretty bummed out, I assume. I mean, I, I, I guess a little bit since uh, uh, Trump and uh, what's his name Biden were the only ones left, right? Uh, yeah. Or something like that. Yeah, I mean, eh, I mean, they're, they're, they're not that cool as Andrew Yang, you know, because, you know, I'm Andrew Yang. How, at that moment, when you knew that Andrew Yang was no longer running for president, did you feel like your 15 seconds of fame were up? Nah, not really. I, I mean, uh, are, are you saying I was mooching off Andrew Yang to get famous? Because, uh, I don't think so. I wasn't thrilled. No, not yet. No. Because I'm not. I'm sorry, dear. I thought that you wanted to speak out in support of the Yang Gang, but you know what? I completely understand. Some people don't want to talk about it and don't feel like talking about it. Let's talk about chicken. Chicken. Uh, if we take a look back, uh, here's a shot of Mr. Andrew Yang. Mm. And here he is on a date of November 9th, 2019, when you <laughs> were quoted of this. Mr. Andrew, what? I think the entire world wants to know, what in the hell is an O.J. Simpson chicken? Yeah, I don't even know. I kind of just, like, said my mind when I talked about that. I, I don't even know who O.J. Simpson is. And it just kind of, like, went through my mind. I saw Orange Chicken, and it was just, like, how Orange Juice is called O.J. So it was just like, oh, hey, what, 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 like, what else guy named, you know, something rhymes with stupid chicken? That was about it. <laughs> And, um, where were you at when you said this? Uh, I was at China Palace. Oh, I thought I you were at- like, It used to be my job. And such. And such. Mr. Andrew Yang, do you even know of the real O.J. Simpson? You know, the ex-soccer player who was on trial for the murder of his wife, Nicole Brown Simpson. You know, it was a huge murder thing in the 1990s. Oh, wait, he was a soccer player? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was like the president after like John F. Kennedy, or not after, before John F. Kennedy. <laughs> You know, he was an actor as well. Oh, that's cool. Like, have you ever seen any of his movies, Andrew? Nope, not at all. So, Andrew, a lot of people want to know, what is your position on the whole chicken or egg debate? What the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, what like, which one do you think came first, the chicken or the egg? Oh, you should have just said that to me. Um, see, I, I think, uh, the chicken came first. Why? Whoa! Well, I mean, well, I mean, what else could, like, you know, spawn an egg besides the chicken? I think, I think they were just, uh, I think the aliens, you know, dropped off some chicken, and then that's how chicken made the egg. So do you think humans were dropped off by aliens as well? Nah, we, we're, we're kind of just monkeys. 